Hi, happy Thursday. I'm making this video again because I started it and then dropped my phone off of its little perch and it landed face first. Not really a really great way to just start the video. Uh, so happy Thursday. I don't know if I said that already. Um, because yeah, apparently you just keep doing outtakes. I should probably make a collection of them. So I wanted to talk about things that we're loving. I only have a couple things, but it's enough things. One, I'm wearing my base day shirt. See? It doesn't really feel like a wicking, like a technical shirt. It's kind of like, it feels cottony to me, even though this is made from polyester, but it feels like a regular t-shirt. So I'm gonna wear it around the house. I figured I'll just like move it into my like loungewear. Okay, some things. So I'll tell you what made me smile. In my craft stash, I found these stickers that I had bought. I love stickers, so I buy them if I see them. But look, they're little fairies and unicorns. Anyway, I was um, I was filling out a card this week, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have these stickers, so I stuck them all over the envelope. Made me happy. They're glittery. Okay, things. Let's see where to start. <clears throat> and excuse my coughing. I've been sick for like so long. I sound awful, I know. I'm just gonna keep coughing throughout this entire thing. Um, tights, it's tight season, right? I love tights. I feel like I'm wearing pajamas all day when this happens, when I'm wearing tights. So I bought two new pairs, these cobalt and these in gray. They were two for 20 actually, they rang up at Macy's. I was super excited. Have you ever worn cobalt tights? Cause I haven't. So I'm trying to put together an outfit. I'm thinking I wanna pair it with like black and white I have the dress that I have in mind, but I, I'm just worried that I'll have like show through from like the tights through the white parts of the dress. Um, anyway, Hugh makes my favorite tights. We make sweater tights and they're awesome. I just love to wear tights. I'm always like a little bit sad. I know this is probably awful, but like in April when there's no more tights because it's too warm, I'm like, oh man, I gotta wait. Okay. Something else is knitting related. Um, I like this time of year because I feel more like knitting than I do like in really hot weather. Though I'm, I'm usually knitting all year. I'm just knitting more when it's colder. Um, okay, I don't know if you know Tiny Owl Knits. Uh, she does this like, I'm gonna say whimsical. I think she even calls her stuff whimsical. Her stuff is a little bit quirky. Not gonna lie, I love it. Whoops, sorry, fiddling with things. Hmm, where's the rest of the pattern? They're out of order. Okay, can you see these? These silly little mitts? So they have like raccoon, what is this? The owl? The middle one is a, I think it's a wolf. There's a badger and a deer. So I bought this today. Um, I'm making a pair for me and Kim. Kim is over at Domesticrat. Um, She's logged in. She's logged on on her blogs I love. She's a girlfriend of mine from forever ago. She's actually my neighbor too. Um, and I'm making us the raccoons. So if you buy this on Knit Picks, just go to knitpicks.com, you can buy all of the patterns. Look, it's a, like a gigantic PDF, right? Um, for $9.99, you get all of it. So I'm gonna order the yarn for this because you know what? I went over to Windsor today to buy yarn because I was thinking oh like I'm not like not gonna lie I'm not a huge nitpicks fan for yarn I like their heavyweight gloss not really a huge fan of some of the others but um, I'm gonna give this one a go it's the fingering weight yarn I've never used it before I figured I'd try it out <clears throat> excuse me um so we're gonna see so I'll let you know these things have little tails like each one of them has a little tail I gotta tell you I am like enamored with the idea of the tail. Also the badger has a little paw. It's so cute, I can't even stand it. So Kim was like as excited as I was and I was like, I wanna make these for you so you can have a pair and then we can have a magic pair. And I guess I am still that girl from the fifth grade who's like, we're twins and we should match because we're friends. I don't really care. Okay, makeup. One makeup thing and then I will like call it a day. Okay, MAC makes this lipstick called Sheen Supreme, which I know I've mentioned before because I love it. So first I bought, there's like a family of them now, Korean candy, okay. It's this like really bright orange color. 
I love it. It started with the Korean candy and I was like, wow, amazed by the texture, the color, the feel, the slip. It lasts a long time. It feels um, like a non-sticky gloss. It wears, I think it wears well. I like it, but I'm not like, like one of those people that's like, oh, like my lipstick wears off. Like I don't care. I'll re reapply. It doesn't bother me that much. Then I bought, I figured I'd get like a nude-ish color, you know, like a natural color. Also it makes a satisfying noise. This is Bare again, which I have used a ton of. I've used it a ton. It's like this pinky peach color. Okay, so then I bought that one, right? And, you know, I was using it a lot, but then I was like, oh, I kind of want something else. And then I bought quite the thing. After doing much research, I mean, you have to look at a lot of swatches to figure out which one you want, which is this purpley kind of color. You know what I'll tell you? I was like feeling terrible last week at work. Maureen, hi Maureen. Uh, she saw it on me and she said, you look great. And I said, it's lipstick. <laughs> it has nothing to do with how I feel. It has everything to do with this like really bright color. Okay, so then today I figured, okay, one more, one more, that's it, right? Yeah, I bought Insanely It, which is this pink color. Okay, so I'm gonna stop because now I feel like I have a good representation of colors here and that's probably plenty. Um, and I'm loving all of them. I get to tell you, they're in like constant rotation. They're everything that I wanted the Revlon lip butters to be, except my butters kept breaking. I'm not really that hard on them, and I know that from what I've read online, you know, my lipstick research, I'm not the only person who's had this happen where you press down and the thing cracks off. I did this at work and like reapplied after lunch, and then the pink truffle shot off. I was like, whoa, there's like lipstick on the floor. Um, and then my pink, my peach parfait did the same thing, so I was like so bummed. But these are like, these seem to be like the slightly one scale up, like whatever that is, like one rung up in lipstick world. Um, and they're making me happy. And this thing is like this, I like this tube. It's like really shiny and it feels good in your hand. So that's all I have. Okay, so I hope that you have a good week and that you're doing stuff that you love with people you love. Um, because I am and I'm gonna do some fun things this weekend. We're gonna take a day trip. Michael wants to get some foliage pictures in, which I think would be really nice. It'd be nice to take a nice day trip and see the trees and the leaves changing and have a nice lunch out and it's just all those things that we love to do. See a movie. So um, anyway, uh, just let me know what you're loving and I will talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye.